And here it is, Vitrix's Early Imperial Roman Legionaries Advancing. Great way to start your Early Imperial Roman Army. These are 28 millimeter hard plastic multi-pose miniatures. You get 25 of them on the back of the cover here. And I'm gonna zoom in just a bit. Are the uh, instructions, because as you can see, being a baggie, there aren't any paper leaflets or pamphlets in there. These are your assembly instructions based on uh, part. So it'll give you everything that you need to uh, build these up. So let me zoom back out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. All right, first off, in the baggie, you get six sprues. One of them will be a command sprue. And let me get this out of the way. And we'll take a closer look at that shortly. And then you'll get five legionary sprues. All right, first up is the command sprue. You're going to have five torsos here uh, in different versions of Lorca Hamada and a couple, I think, with Lor Lorca Segmentata, which is the plate mail. You have two different versions of the Scutum. Uh, you have the more angular early Imperial Roman version as well as the late Republican uh, Roman version. Uh, these can also um, stand in for auxiliary shields. They look very similar. You have a number of different signum on this uh, sprue right here, here, here. You have the Aquila right here, um, and there's another signum here. Uh, what's nice about these two right here is you can actually place uh, two different, um, like, the heads of the signum on there. We'll take a closer look at it in a second. Different number of arm options and um, weapons options. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sprue. Some arms, a couple uh, arms with uh, the gladius drawn. There's the transverse crest that the Centurions would wear. The Aquila, so that your signifer would become the Aquilifer. Um, actually, you got two of them, so that's nice. There's a head with the transverse crest already. One with two feathers, so you'd, you'd have the other crest. A closer look at the torsos. You do have the wolf and bear cloaks as well as the wolf and bear pelted head right there heads well there's one there there's another there there's a cornum um, here's a signum with the uh, likeness of the emperor and then a signum without the head so you can use one of these and again another signum without the head so you have a different variety here so very nice commands for lots of different options here and uh, lots of different signums so you can make your cohort look different from all the rest so all right all right like i said you get five of the standard uh legionary sprue you have your helmets here arms with the gladiuses you have uh, arms holding pilums again two different scutum options the uh, more angular squared off um, early imperial and then the late republican uh, rounded shields you get four bodies very well detailed and then a number of arm options uh, holding uh, the pilum uh, either in a throwing or kind of standing position uh, and then you have your arms with the pilums and holding them at the ready and then a number of crests and scabbarded gladiuses we'll zoom in real quick here nice options on the heads here they're all the same uniform you have your arms and some pilums get a closer look at the torsos here and then the arms with pilums and the crests so all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few of these together and we'll see what they look like assembled. All right, here they are. I've assembled eight legionaries. I'm going to bring it up. Uh, I've put them on an 80 by 40 base here. As you can see, I've primed them in silver. It's a lot easier to paint them uh, because then I just have to pick out the parts that are not armor or silver and uh, that should be it. But um, yep, this is what they look like. Uh, as you can see, they are in advancing pose. I like this guy here with... His pilum shouldered, you know, this one pointing it forward slightly. Uh, yeah, a little bit more dynamic than, let's say, the Warlord Imperial uh, Romans. And a lot bigger. I haven't put the shields on. and uh, Just going to show the shields. I've primed them silver. Um, uh, obviously, it'll be easier to paint. But um, the thing is, I'm going to keep them silver 
And then I have some uh, decals from Vitrix coming in for uh, Legio to Augusta. Uh, so that uh, we'll be covering most of this. And I'll just have to paint the backing kind of like a lacquered wood. So again, here's what they look like assembled. Beautiful, beautiful miniatures. Nice, highly detailed figures from Vitrix. It is Vitrix's early Imperial Roman legionaries advancing a great way to build up an early Imperial Roman army for any ancient wargaming system that you play. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it. If you would, click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new unboxings coming out of the channel. And then click the link in the description below. Join our Discord server. That is the best way I could personally interact with you and chit-chat you about Vitrix miniatures and any other miniature line that we cover on the channel. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more unboxing videos for more gaming noob historical.